This is a video about misophonia. It's for people who have misophonia, who think they have misophonia, and you can show this to loved ones and friends who don't believe it's a real thing. Because it's a real thing and it sucks, okay? It sucks! What is misophonia? Um, it's just when certain sounds trigger a response in you. And it's normally rage, anger, um, disgust. This is the kind of thing that people don't often bring up to a doctor, and so you just end up growing up thinking your whole life that you're just like this weird jerk who really hates people who chew loudly for no reason. Um, but there is a reason, and it's called misophonia, and you're not a jerk. This is totally valid. Some people might be like, yeah, I get it, I'm annoyed by people who chew loudly too. This is different than being annoyed. Last week I was in the band room at a high school with a bunch of grade eights playing guitar at the same time, and a lot of them were just like banging on the guitar, like detuning it. That was annoying. It just sounded horrible and I wanted to leave. It did not trigger misophonia. I did not want to hit anyone. I did not want to scream. I did not feel the need to run. Um, so it's different if you think you understand it because you've been annoyed by sounds. You don't. Now the ASMR community is huge online. People who have positive reactions to ASMR describe certain sounds just triggering a really nice feeling. We have podcasts with ASMR. We have apps that have ASMR. We have YouTube channels that have ASMR. We accept that ASMR is clearly a thing. It's a thing. Ah, uh, some people think it's weird. But no one's like, hey, that's not real. <laughs> Most people are like, yeah, do whatever makes you feel happy. So often, these are actually the sounds that also trigger misophonia. When I listen to ASMR stuff, I freak out. Like, I'm like, turn it off right now, turn it off, turn it off, turn it off. Mouth sounds is a really big one. The sounds of the S's, the... I don't know why I'm just triggering people with this misophonia thing. Slurping tea. It has been studied at this point where they can actually tell certain frequencies do trigger, you know, the rage response in the brain. The studies are not huge though, but I think at this point there's enough of us. You should just believe us. It is a horrible feeling and I would not wish it on anyone. If you are the partner of somebody with misophonia, don't be offended when they snap at certain sounds. I have friends with misophonia who, you know, will get really annoyed with me for doing, you know, something with my fingernails or something not um, triggering for me. And they'll be like, stop, you have to stop right now. And, and it's kind of like shocking. You're like, oh, okay. And, and it feels kind of bad, but you don't understand how bad the other person feels. Like they were this close to hitting you in the face punching a wall. There's a spectrum of how intense misophonia can get. As far as treatment goes, there's not like a ton of things out there. It does become worse the more anxious you are. So basic self-care things are really important. Taking your medication on time, eating three times a day, drinking water, sleeping eight hours a night, just those basic things. And, and it's not going to go away if you do all of those things. It's just not going to be as bad. I carry around like little foam earbuds wherever I go and I have some like right in this little box here. Sometimes things get so bad for me, especially in the morning, I don't have time to find earplugs. I have these kind of noise blocking headphones or noise blocking ear muffs or whatever. They just are really cheap and you can get them at like Home Depot and stuff. So fast to just put on. And then usually the frequency will be blocked out. And the great thing is you can actually kind of hear through a lot of these. So you can still hear what people are saying and stuff like that without having to hear their chewing or whatever it is. If you know that this is going to happen to you at mealtimes, for example, just put your earplugs in at mealtimes.
or wear your earmuffs. Do it preemptively so you don't, you know, so you don't have to go through the kind of pain that it causes you and also so you don't have to go through potentially yelling at your friends and family. Tell people misophonia is a real thing and I have it. That's why I'm wearing these headphones. If we can be cool with ASMR people like listening to people read books or whatever, then we can be cool with people with misophonia putting in earplugs for mealtimes. Like we can, we've, we can do that as a society. I totally believe that. Hopefully that helped you a little bit. So I'll see you soon. Like and subscribe if you want to. You know, only if you want to.